Listen, I want to ask you a serious question. Who raised you? What's up, guys? This is Adion, your dream pusher, your lifeguard, saving you from the world, from yourself, from some real bullshit. And you are watching Chronicles of Living TV, the show for everyday people doing everyday things, living everyday life. Yes, I am Adion. If you're just tuning in for the first time, and I'm a podcaster, book author, speaker, blogger, mommy, grandma. But I'm here for you to motivate you out there, you visionary dreamers out there that want to pursue your dreams, your visions, entrepreneurs, small business owners, big business owners that need that extra, uh, need that extra encouragement and motivation that fix, I'm like your coffee or your tea in the morning, that's what I'm like, so yeah, um, who raised you, (laughs) let's just get right down to it, and the reason why I ask that question is because who raised us has a lot to do with who we are today, believe it or not. Now, you might be asking, Adion, no, I don't act anything like my family or whatever. But believe it or not, we all have some traits of a family member or maybe a family friend that has been around a family for some years. Um, and sometimes we just don't acknowledge it. So I ask you this question because sometimes the people that raised us and the traits that we pick up from those people can become blockage or they can be a trait that just propels us to the next level that allows us to advance and we don't even realize it. Um, But yet, yes, we are pretty much uh living out some of the same traits so for example bad traits you know of course procrastination and being late and uh being scared of change and staying in your comfort zone that all can come from the people that raised you your environment your village the village that raised you you know they say it takes a village to you know raise a kid and so therefore your neighborhood um the people that you grew up around and you you were watching as you were up you can literally talk about some of the people in your family that you don't think act appropriate in different situations whether rather be at a party maybe they had too much to drink or whatever like that you can be the one that's talking about them and don't like how they're acting and sometimes that might be because you never examined how you act when you're intoxicated or if you're at a party or you know what I mean at an event and you might have had one too many you never examined how you act and it might just be exactly the way they act (laughs) a lot of times they say that the things that um, we don't like about our parents or you know people that raised us we wind up repeating that same action or that same type of attitude. I definitely can agree with that because one of my loved ones, um, I don't want to say it because then it is, but one of my loved ones um, didn't like the way um, the father was acting. Their father uh, treated them and things of that nature or uh, did their mother and then turned around and did the very same thing to um, their kids and their uh, kid's mother. Go figure that. And didn't even realize what he was doing. You get what I'm saying? And that's how powerful it is that, you know, the traits that we pick up from our loved ones or the people that raised us or maybe the people that didn't raise us, that didn't raise us like on a regular, but we have a little of their DNA in us. You get what I'm saying? A lot of times you hear your mom say, hey, you ain't just like your, your dad or your aunt and this and that and the other if it's something that you're doing that might irritate them. And sometimes it might be something that you're doing well. Like for me, for instance, I picked up traits from my mom, like as in being a loving mother. She used to take us all out as kids together, movies and everything. And then I turned around and unconsciously started doing the same thing. When I got my first apartment, I would always get my little cousins and want to take them to the movies and want them, you know, to always be around. And I was really good with kids, just like my mother. And then with my grandpa, you know, he was a research person and taught us how to research and he traveled 
the world. And lo and behold, I love research and I love learning new things and I'm always moving. This travel, my travel with different things, nevertheless, I wind up doing it. You get what I'm saying? So I say all this to say because we have to start identifying the bad traits, the traits that um, are not benefiting us. You know, for example, you know, um, you have some people that might grow up in a so-called hood in a certain neighborhood and, you know, um, identify themselves as thugs, you know, and they might think they're a thug and then now their kid is watching them and want to mimic them. And instead of them moving along the way and showing something different, you know, they're pretty much staying in the neighborhood because that's all they know. Because, you know, that's what the family has done for generations. And that's all they know. And they're scared of change. And therefore, now, some of their kids or, you know, nephew or whatever, might not ever make the transition from the neighborhood because that's all they watched is adult and the adult staying in the same neighborhood. So therefore, you have generations that has never experienced nothing new, nothing that can take the family tree to the next level because nobody wants to step outside the box. Nobody wants to try anything new. Everybody is fearful of change. Everybody is fearful of maybe being around different ethnic backgrounds. You have a lot of people that just want to just stay in the realm of what they know, the people, the type of people that they know, um, all black people say we're all black, all white people, all Chinese, or whatever. But it is when you decide to face your fears, to get out your comfort zone, to take that opportunity and take a chance on yourself to start stepping out and doing something different that you will see your life change. You will see you move up to higher levels. And when I say this, I don't mean just on a materialistic level or anything or money level like that. I'm saying with inside yourself, the growth, growth that you're going to experience will be beyond your belief and it will be, it will come along unconsciously. And before you even recognize it, it's like it's already done. You know, once you start stepping outside of your comfort zone, that's what happens, guys. That's what happens. There's a reason why you might be watching this YouTube video right now and you want to start your own YouTube channel, but yet you have fear in your heart. Why? Because of who, maybe who raised you. Maybe who raised you never did anything to this extent, never did anything creative or, you know, uh, owned a business or um, wanted to be an entrepreneur or either let you know about their dreams or went after their dreams. So therefore, you subconsciously or your, your subconscious has that memory stored. So what I mean by that is that we have the conscious, we have the subconscious. I'm, I'm going to try to make this real fast, but we have your, your subconscious and, and your conscious. Your subconscious are, is deep within you, all the things that is stored that you saw, that you heard as you were growing up. And sometimes it comes out in, a, in an act because of what you saw or what you heard. And you might have the same reaction to a certain thing that you might have saw your mom or your dad react to uh, that certain thing in the same way. Meaning like, if I use this in one of my podcast shows, meaning like if your mom was scared of bugs and when you were growing up and you, all you saw was her run from a bee, then that's your reaction. If somebody, your dad was scared of dogs, then as um, soon as the dog come along, that's what you saw. So subconsciously, you're going to be fearful of dogs unless you experience being around someone that introduce you to a dog and let you know that okay it's okay to rub and, and a friendly dog comes along that you experience you know what I mean so things have to happen in order for you to break those cycles but most importantly you have to make it happen you have to be the deciding factor in your own life you have to make the decision to leave the past in the past and move on and start a new beginning so that you can become who you are supposed to be for your future and do the things that you are supposed to do for the future.
this is what needs to happen, guys. You need to let go of fear and of um, the cycles and of all the traits that have been blocking your path that you have gained from who raised you. And that's basically <laughs> all I have to say today. I'm going to give you two examples. I have a loved one and a family friend, I mean, and a um, friend of mine. Both of them, they don't know each other. But um, one thing I noticed about both of them, they never did any type of drugs like smoke weed or drink. Or, and, and I asked both of them on different occasions, years apart from each other. But they come to mind for this topic. Um, why they don't drink, um, not even a cooler or whatever. Why they never smoke weed. And both of them told me the same thing. Both of them had family members on both sides of their family their mother's side and their father's side that did drugs or that um that drank a lot and they both both their response to me was I didn't like the way uh alcohol or drugs made them act so I vowed to myself that I didn't want to act that way so therefore I never tried it and I'm like wow and both when I say both of them they not related or anything two totally different people but um, they both had it on both sides of the family. You know what I mean? So they figured that if this is what's happening, then most likely I might wind up getting addicted or whatever and start acting that way. That was their concept. That is what they got out of watching who raised them. And they made the, the conscious, conscious decision is right now is being aware of what's going on right now in front of you. You know what I'm saying? They made the conscious decision that they didn't want to take a chance on their own life in repeating the cycle because they believe that they might wind up picking up the same traits. You get what I'm saying? So that's how I'm going to leave y'all today. Um, definitely, definitely the word um, raised in the uh, Google definition or whatever Um it says uplift. It means to uh, awaken. It means to rise higher. That is what raised means. So, us as individuals, us as visionary dreamers out here, I am expecting you, as well as myself, I'm putting this on me too, is to start raising yourself to a higher level. It's to start demanding that you go to the next level you lift yourself up and do start doing the things that you've always wanted to do and stop procrastinating stop hesitating stop being scared and stop being fearful fear is false evidence appearing real why are you fearing something that you never did why are you fearing something that you've never seen you know what I'm saying? Most of the time, that's the thing that we fear because we are scared of how it's going to turn out. And the thing about it is, however it turns out, is good because you're going to learn something from it. Rather it be bad or good, you're going to learn something for it, from it that's going to help you with your experience in life and it's going to help you to grow. It's going to help you to problem solve more. So, with that being said, I'm going to leave right now because I'm really paying attention to the time and really working hard on keeping these videos short. So, that's what I want to say to y'all today. And the reason why I want to say that is because, um, like I said, sometimes the very people that raised us, and every, I'm sure most of the people that raised us mean nothing but love, but it's just a lot of repeated cycles. And it's up to you to break the cycle of the things that you have picked up from your family members or your environment, your village that raised you, that's not benefiting you. It is time for you to break those habits, time for you to break those thoughts within yourself so that you can be raised to a higher level. Okay, guys? So, if you like this video, definitely subscribe, like, and let me know below um, who raised you. Do you feel like you picked up any traits, any bad traits or any good traits? What traits helped you? What traits just kind of like is, is keeping you and hindering you from moving further that you know you need to work on to break? Tell me below, you know, comment below. Let us know what's going on so we can all, you know, learn something new today. That's what I'm about. Learn something new every day. Okay. So until tomorrow, guys, this is 
A Dion, your dream pusher, your lifeguard, saving you from yourself, the world, from some real bullshit. And you are watching Chronicles of the TV, the show for everyday people doing everyday things, living everyday life. And to keep in touch, hit the links below, listen to my podcast show whenever you are in the mood, need some motivation, listen to the podcast shows, okay? I will see you guys tomorrow. Love, love, love you.